So how did Banksy do it? The videos appeared on his website, telling the story of the sale of a very expensive painting becoming a piece of art history. We showed the film to the critic Estelle Lovett, starting with the building of the shredder and its installation in the frame. Banksy is like the chess player of the art world and everything that he does has a certain point and a certain meaning. So this video that we're watching has all been carefully, painstakingly planned, almost like it's a heist or something. Then we move to the sale itself. Um, it's very lavish. It, it's for people who have um, spare cash. <laughs> Nice canapes. <laughs> why, do, why do you think Banks is setting this up here? To show what type of people are there and able to afford his artwork. And that's what's really funny as well, because Banksy, being a street artist, of course, once you take his art off of the street, it becomes worthless. But put his picture in Sotheby's. It all changes, because then there's only one buyer. Yes. Um, and then, of course, we never get to see that artwork again. <laughs> Oh, here we go. You, re you know, you cheer him on. Making the art world seem a, a bit sort of up its own backside, really. What does that say about how much Sotheby's knew about what was going on? I really do not believe that they had any part in this event. They would not risk doing work that's underhand or under the table. And finally, another little twist. So in rehearsals, it worked every time. Who is to say that this is just one of many videos that he made with different endings? What is its future life now? It will be put in some sort of glass case, probably, um, or have a little rope around it. But th I mean, that's the work of art as it is, you know, halfway down the frame. It's now not just a painting. It's a sculpture. Emma North, BBC London News.